much that can stay down forever. Thank you. The ocean cast its spell on me that day. And its mystery still consumes me. I wonder if that was her attempt at communicating with the whale. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little annoying. <laughs> so guys, the whole point of this too, we're going to be doing multiple dives, so you can go to different areas and explore different things. Day one, the ocean's in my blood. Hall, Western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. I'm anxious to find our sperm whale family and look in on our mother to be. I'm also excited to test out Andre's new tech. Ocean X is expecting a huge audience for our first live stream given how bad things were in this region a few years ago. No pressure though, ready to dive. All right, well, I'm ready to dive too. I love how I got an achievement literally just for watching the opening cutscene. Oh, we got a couple of sharks here. Good thing this isn't man-eater, guys. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, I'm sure. A couple of manta rays as well. I'm in and okay. Wow. Hey, Mariah, how's the new suit? Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. How are you breathing? Breathing easy. How do you scan this these things? Is amazing. Feels like I'm free diving. Genuine confident. Oh. Just caught that on the live stream. Uh, give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. Whoa! That is what a uh, whatchamacallit. They call that a, uh... Whale shark, duh. Good job, Dan. So you gotta hold it to scan. Chilean Devil Ray. Look at the water effects. So it was not a manta ray, that was a... Done. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. So you don't know. Got it. Now point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I wanna make sure all the tech is working before we stream. Arena, how you feeling? I've been thrown up today. No, it's still early. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the boy, you can triangulate the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. All right, that might be a little smoother. I think that's what we want, guys. All right, I see. Sorry, I have to redo the the controls here. That's probably nicer, a little more smooth. That's close enough. You can use your dive water to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the target in circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. A bottlenose dolphins, cool. Ah, oh, there's the sperm whale. So that was the sperm whale's clicks that we heard. Okay, hold on. Humpback's over there. That almost sounds like a burp. Mariah, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the Ocean X live stream. I'm Dr. Mariah Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, Whoa. I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. Looks like we've got our first singer. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact. In addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Okay, we gotta show the map. So this is what we're dealing with. How do you zoom? Oh, left and right here. Okay, that's as far as we get. So we know the certain areas. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell? More like raising teenagers. Like, look at this, we're swimming with the whales. These humpbacks. Honestly, being near this majestic creature would scare me a little bit. Anyway, we gotta actually get to those sperm whales, but we're not here for sperm whales right now. We're here for the, let's go for the dolphins. Oh, I see, it's inverted. How do you, wait. Okay, so you click it. 
So if I hold L, I see, left, I see, left and right triggers go up. So the idea is to scan as many animals as we possibly can in this area. Those spermos are right there. But let's go check on the bottlenose dolphins. See what they're up to. There they are. Hey guys. Don't get too jealous, folks. Just because I'm swimming with dolphins. Gotta scan five My grandmother dolphins. always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters. And today, also very noisy. Not using this scanner. But I do have a new drone design that should be better at isolating the source What is this? Soldier fish. There's another bald nose. We need to scan one more dolphin. So you can scan these fish. I was trying to scan them earlier and it wouldn't let me scan everything. Every little fish has got something. We've got a school here. Who else hasn't been scanned? Have any of these guys been scanned yet? Yeah, I've scanned those ones. I gotta still scan one more dolphin. How about this guy? Did he get scanned? Nope. Here's our fourth. Here's our fifth. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan. <laughs> As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. Every little bit gets scanned. Three and nineteen. What does that even mean? Am I scanning all of these creatures? Like all of these guys? I know there's like something for scanning everything. I wonder if we're just supposed to scan a bunch of the same ones, you know what I mean? Like that whale shark is awesome. Like when we go to the log, see these are all various animals. So they're all sorts of fish. We gotta try and scan everything. They're all in their class too. I don't know if this is just all. That's the top again, I see. Like I don't know if this is just all of them in the area or if that's just everybody in the entire game probably not though it's probably just in the area every little bit we're going to find all right let's try these guys see i knew we, we just had to be close enough great barracuda that seems dangerous all right we can head towards the Another one. Is that another dolphin? Found chinkerfish. We got some sharks down here. Honestly, that's kind of alarming too, hey? The white tip reef sharks. I've heard those, they aren't too bitey. Like, they will... Um, they will attack, but not frequently. It's only like a defensive thing. So if you're just swimming with them, the white tips, from what I understand, are most likely you're going to be fine. Well, I wish we could scan more groups just so we can see what we're dealing with here. Because the completionist in me is going to want to scan everything. I would not be swimming with barracudas. I'm just saying. It just seems a little... A little bit of a risk. Because every time we scan one of these, are we, do, are we just scanning the same fish over and over? See, 6 of 27. Is that how many are in the region? Is that how many? Because every time I scan a set of fish, see, 4 of 7. So I've already scanned a few of them. Maybe you just find, like, let's go to the tricolor parrotfish. Midnight zone, sunlight zone. They tend to be in the sunlight zone. So that's how you know what you're looking for. Some are a little bit in the darker regions. I just have the scanner out at all times. There you go. Royal angelfish, another dolphin. Tons of dolphins here. 
Apparently there's 36 dolphins that you can scan. I don't know if I want to scan every single one in the region, but I could try. <laughs> they won't hurt you either. You never know, though. Wouldn't it be funny if it's just like, oop, stay away, shark attack. Soldier fish. Wait, one second. Have I not been here before? See, I'm not 100% sure what these are, so I know what these are. So maybe we should, uh, instead of spending all this time, can I not use this? Is the area I've already been? Have I already? Yeah. I wish there was another way. Hey, well, let's head towards the sperm whales. That's fun, right? Gotta scan it. Mailed butterfly fish. There's five of them. Whoa, these things, you can see it. That is alarming, isn't it? But it's majestic. Like the sheer size of it would give me a bit of a bit do that me a looks fright. To be a sperm whale. I think I saw this bull from the sub. I wonder how far he's traveled. Once we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Nice. Hey Marai, I'm seeing alerts on the South Boy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what oh, mysteries this boy unlocks. Scary. Hi, little guy. Alright, so we've we've got that. Now we gotta swim. Don't get hit in the face. And that's it, that proves it. But this open water is alarming. Like, isn't that alarming? But it's kind of the edge of the reef, so that's how you know you're kind of out of the range. And you can only swim so fast. So we'll just keep an eye out. Because I don't know if scanning the whole thing is. Oh, there's another humpback. Do we scan these humpbacks already? Are these are the same ones we scanned? Yes, it is. I think there's only two humpbacks in this region. We're going back to the boy. We scanned that soldier fish. All right, now we're gonna get the read on more. I think. That's beautiful. Something over there. A sensor. Another sensor. Oh, some more. Oh, those are juvenile dolphins. Another sperm whale family. Yo. Is that everything? Uh, what is that sound? Did I break something? Well, I've deployed acoustic modems to transmit from other sensors. Yeah, For please. Who have no idea what he's talking about. He means we use what's sound up, up, to yeah. transmit so, data. So we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. What's going on? What kind of yeah, like 1990 dialogue. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. It won't let me, uh, we haven't scanned all of them either. Or play, That's so more satisfying than scanning something you haven't scanned yet. Live. Okay, I'm trying to get him. He's making it I'm a very difficult a procedure. I was gonna make a video. Being a trickster, he's like, you ain't scanning me. I'm you. Figured out that this thing is way too cool. So each one has their own scan. That's how you know there's 17 to scan. See. That's what I mean. I'm not sure how many we're gonna so get to scan. So that's why. Ah, uh, here's the reef. They're the white tips. How's the audio? Sorry, so. Everything all right? Let's go down here, guys. Obviously, we can go see some more dolphins with the juveniles. Red light must mean a serious alert. Are these collectibles? Whoa, octopus! Cool. Oops. Oh, you know, I'll teach you. Oh, I mean, I know a lot about it. I did a, a lot on that game. I've had over about 100 hours on that game already. Yeah. I, Okay, it should be a little bit better. It's gonna lower the. It's gonna lower the. Uh, music.
music i think let's try that out let's try that out Is that any better? It should be a lot better. Oh, okay. I'm following you. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Yeah. Get this down. All right. So let's see. Oh, okay. So this is Ren. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys this. This is cool. These videos that they have on here. Meet the Aquanauts. My family used to go to the beach every summer. For me, that was my favorite thing to do all year long. Hearing the seagulls, the sound of the ocean pounding on the beach. For me, that was just grounding and relaxing and fascinating all at the same time. The physicality of the ocean is one of the things that, as a kid, attracted me the most. That thrill of just having that ocean energy push me along. You could just ride all day. There was no lift tickets. There was no fees to get into the ocean. When I describe to people what it's like to dive on the coral reef, they're like, oh, I never thought about that. They've never had a shark swim right beside them. Look them in the eye, give them a little fright for a second before they realize that the shark just wonders what I'm doing, just like I wonder what the shark is doing. I started free diving. So when I think of diving, I really think of free diving. Like, that's what whales do, right? Take a big breath of air, and they hold that oxygen inside their body. This ability to free dive down to where the scuba divers were, swim around and come back up was just so free. Nothing on, no equipment. I just love that, it made me feel like a fish. When I did my first submersible dive, I realized it wasn't just that I was meant to be out on ships. I was supposed to be in the bottom. I don't think anyone has ever measured endorphins in submarines, but I can tell you they're probably through the roof. The first time I was in a submarine, I saw that life down there and 50 new questions popped into my brain. That wouldn't have come up because it was this immersive experience and I just felt it. When you're in a submarine and you're looking at these magical environments, you're overwhelmed by this sense of wonder. You're humbled by this feeling of there's so much I don't know about the world. And you're stimulated to figure out how this all works together. I'm a marine biologist. I'm someone who studies the ocean from as many angles as I can. When my kids ask me what I do for a living, I tell them that I'm an explorer. I'm an aquanaut. I dive down to the bottom of the ocean and aquanaut. I see things that people have never seen before. How lucky am I to be able to share this amazing habitat with the rest of the world? Very interesting. Whoops. As a child, I had no idea how important the ocean is, that the great majority of life on Earth is in the sea, that the greatest diversity of life is in the sea. My name is Sylvia Earle. I'm a scientist, an oceanographer, an ocean explorer. I've spent years at sea aboard ships and thousands of hours under the sea. I've seen things others have not. If others could see what I've witnessed, they would know how much the ocean has changed, and they would know why caring for the ocean matters to everyone, everywhere. The ocean is Earth's life support system, generating most of the oxygen in the atmosphere, capturing much of the carbon dioxide produced by human actions. The ocean 
is the planet's living blue heart. Every creature has a story. <laughs> Every one. Whether you're looking at a little crab, yeah, for or a real starfish, well. or a shark. <laughs> if people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish, that they have communities, they have faces? Their importance as fellow citizens, as cultures, as amazing creatures that we can learn from. There's a lot of water we now know elsewhere in the solar system and elsewhere in space. But to have a, a liquid ocean with frozen polar areas, it's taken four and a half billion years to shape the world in a way that is favorable to humankind. It's taken us about four and a half decades to significantly unravel systems. No ocean, no life. No ocean, no us. My name is Shane Garrow, and I'm the founder of the Dominica Sperm Whale Project. I've been following the lives of sperm whale families in the Caribbean Sea based off the beautiful nature island of Dominica. I've had the sort of greatest honor to spend thousands of hours in the company of the sperm whale families. And over the last 15 years, we've come to know 30 different families. We know about 10 of those personally. My research focuses mostly on the connection between these families' lives and what they say to each other, and how they succeed in the ocean by living in these small families. They live these rich and complex lives in part of the ocean that we find difficult to even explore. Sperm whale society is matrilineal, meaning it's grandmothers and daughters that will live together for life. The young males live in the family until they're about teenagers and then they go on this sort of open ocean wander for about 15 to 20 years before they um, are breeding. I can get you but females uh, will stay like together 10 million, for life. They communally raise 10, 15, and defend their babies. Million, right and they the live bat, in this sort of community I have of a, uh, families a just farm. like we do. I got going on. Behavior is what you do. And I'll, I'll show is how you and teach you and all that about it. it. In the same way that we're all humans, but some of us eat with chopsticks and some of us eat with a fork. We're all still eating, but how we've learned to eat is importantly different. The secret for how these animals are surviving are these traditional behaviors. And that's why every calf counts. Every female calf is critically important. And each one of those that we lose, we lose so much potential. I think one thing that my research has shown is that our lives are really similar. The values that we have in our families, love your These mom, be a so good amazing. neighbor, learn from your grandmother's experience. And ultimately life is about the quality of the relationships that you build with those around you, whether you're a whale or not. This has got to do with outer the space that or my grandmother underwater helping me to survive now so ensuring <laughs> that these grandmothers survive to be grandmothers to share their stories and ensuring that these babies live long enough to learn them is what's going to enable these animals to be around for a long time all right so let's go ahead and get back into the game now that was pretty cool I can't wait to get all the others. What is all this? Oh, okay, that's the sense. All the fish that I've seen. I still got so many doctor posts out there. There's a weak shark. I'm surprised they don't attack you though. <laughs> nah. I was just like, I just had it. Those videos were just amazing. Hello, Mariah. Thanks for checking in. Hey, Andre. My 
outside. How are you feeling? A bit tired, but I can't wait to get back out. Can you believe we found the family on the first dive? And they have a new baby girl. I know. Well done. Feeling settled in the sun. Has everything tested out? Fabulous. The overhead speakers sound great. Glad I brought my team. This solo sub test makes me nervous. We're definitely fitting it out for two pilots next time. Jealous? Jealous? <laughs> you found me out. <laughs> you can drive next time. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. So, I have something I know you'll want to see. It's what the live stream saw of A12 and her baby. I didn't think you expected her to deliver so soon, though. I thought she had more time given her weight, but it was hard to know for sure. Hmm. What's the hmm about? Just noting her low weight. Also wondering when you'll find the rest of her pod. Maybe they were diving. I'll find them. Hey, All right, no I problem, was thinking bro. we should name the baby Take whale easy. Andrea. I'll see you she back. She has your kind eyes. And my bald head. <laughs> no, I'm putting her in the sim as A17. Ugh, you're so sentimental. Hey, where's Arena? Probably in the head throwing up. She threw up one time. Why are you being so hard on her? I just don't like the idea of using priceless expedition time to make pharmaceutical companies richer. Even if she makes discoveries that saves lives, I thought she was self-funding her own research, not biting. And she going to jump on a chat. Not biting. Is she going to jump on the chat? She's reading a brief about that deep sea mining impact study. Okay, I definitely don't have time to get into that. It's like this game is about like... No problem. Send Ren my best. This I will. Like, I don't know, it's like they live stream or something underneath the ocean. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get back in the water. Complete your. I have to go back and I have a lot more to do on the chair, I guess. Hey, girl. Aren't you supposed to be twenty thousand leagues under the sea? I am. I'm calling from the sub. That's crazy. Hey, did you show Nan on my live stream tonight? School's great, thanks for asking. Concert great too? Saw your friend's post. I wish. Girls gotta take a break sometimes. Hey, check this out. No way. Is that a baby whale? Mm-hmm. And her very, very proud mother. She delivered early. That's some view. You're really living the dream. Thanks. Miss you though. How's Nana? Okay, not a big deal, but I am taking Nana to get tested for a clinical trial. I need dementia drugs. Why didn't you tell me? Thanks for helping. Why didn't you tell me you signed Nana up for a clinical trial? It's just an application. Maybe you should wait until I'm back. Can't. Starts in a week. I gotta go. Say hi to the whales for me. Dive ready. Let's go diving. We're about to go diving.
The hydrophone feeds are alive with the sounds of whales. Gonna find me some singers. I'm excited to test Andrea's new Manta drone. Kinda like the Swiss army knife of stealth drones. I'd love to spend the whole dive hanging out with baby Andrea, but miles to swim before I sleep. Ready to dive. Ready to the dive. I'm in and okay. Looking good, Mariah. The Manta drone is ready for its first zoom scan. Now I get to see why you talk about it so much. Only the best science for you. Boy ahead. Bet we'll find some whale vocalizations. Oh, I'm not taking that bet. You always find whales. You'd find them in your bathtub. What kind of bathroom do you think I have? <laughs> <laughs> what? is a lot of whales. It's staggering the number of migrating trees this area. Hey, don't jinx it. Okay. Let's go check out this one here first. Oh, this is a baby whale then. It's our sperm whale family again. You're right. Why is the baby girl so important to the study? I'm hoping to follow the baby for years to learn from her as she learns from her family. And hopefully to watch her eventually become a mother herself. The Manta drone will match speed with the creature so you can concentrate on steering it around to find the places you need to focus. All right, baby. We won't forget you now. Luke, say no. Andre, can the zoom scan tell how old the baby is? Not with any certainty. Why? Just wondering if she's old enough to hunt by herself. She still seems pretty young to go that deep. Will she be okay alone when her mother dies? She should follow the pod. Her aunties will babysit while the mother hunts. Wish I had them when my daughter was born. Mm, take the pod. Let's go to this one. It's too close here. Devil Ray, what's up, Devil Ray? <laughs> I don't know why they're so far apart from each other. Oh, wow, that looks huge. Here we are, the whale we're designating Humpback M1. Oh, so catchy. How will you know it's M1 when you see it again? Each Humpback's fluke is unique. So M1 it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so come on. Oh yeah, what the heck?
Andre's software is helping me understand the structure of their songs so we can try singing back. More like play back. I will synthesize a song that mirrors one from another region to see how these whales react. Because Andre doesn't like my singing. It's more like the songs you sing. Butterfly fish. Or catfish. Oh, these are reef sharks. What? Okay. Go shower. Approaching humpback M2. Looks like he's on a date. How can you tell? It's like they're dancing to his song. Think, Andre? Do you think he can make it as a solo artist? Uh, not without more original material. What? Males from the same region sing nearly identical songs with just enough variation to stand out. Yeah, just like most pop singers. Such a snob. Let's hope the whale of Palooza continues. Wonder if they charge admission. Don't worry. Whatever it is, you can take it from my budget. Someone's feeling better today. Well, I guess it worked. I've got some nasty noise. The same damn sound we heard yesterday. Well, I'll check it out between the whales. Looks like another area sensor. 
Okay, Marai. Can you use the micro tanks to mark the starfish for collection? Are you testing your collector drone? It's not a test. Irina needs us to collect a few for study. They are incredibly resilient. They can regenerate themselves from just a subset of their body. They're also invasive. Must have hitched a ride in the ballast of a ship. Irina, how many of these do you need? I'm missing the whale. Just a few. Okay, micro tags deployed. Thanks, Mirai. That's plenty. Are you sure this is where you track that noise? I don't know, Andre. That sound is loud, but it seems pretty deep. Can't see how it could be coming from a ship. Yeah, I agree. It also keeps starting and stopping. I'll figure out another way to investigate it. It wouldn't let me go any further deeper. I wanted to.
Andre, what was that other nasty noise? It was definitely digital. No power alarm. You need to pick up a sense of the sense. It never occurred to you that a nice ringtone would be far less annoying? You weren't this excited about the dolphins before. They're rubbing against the coral. Kind of a wellness visit. that are studying the antimicrobial properties of these coral. Yo, I appreciate that, bro. What's going on, Silver Crew Gamer? Co Gamer? How you doing, bro? Hey, Andre, those reef sharks like your ringtone. Will I be able to get the data off that sensor while I'm picking it up? No. It goes to sleep when the power is low to preserve the data. Oh. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see that? Shame that wasn't on the live stream. Have you seen one do that what? before? Never! I'm picking up a tag from the sperm well pod. Pushing the waypoint now. On my way. Where did he go? Sorry, sharks. Mariah is off the menu. Ha! <laughs> Get out of there. Woo wee! They're looking for a little lunch here. They hungry. He's all the way out there in the open too, like Bro, you're in the bad area. You gotta get back to land, bro. Come on guys. The baby's back with the rest of the pod. What's it doing? Nuzzling. Probably calling for its mama. If it stops moving, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I hear it. Send the sub to pick me up. I'm done for now.
It's a big ocean. You gotta be able to see what's worth spending your time on. When I'm down there in a submarine and I'm seeing all these animals, it's always about which one of these is new, which one of these has not been seen before to science. Why do these animals come here as opposed to there? And, and where are they going? There are really tangible things that we can do now to start answering some of these questions. But as the technology develops, we can become more and more and more and more sophisticated. Technology is emerging on all fronts. We're using all this side scan sonar and hydrophones to map things out. We can use these sound underwater surveillance systems to actually track whales and see them move all around the ocean. There's a new field called environmental DNA where you just look at the sloughed off cells that are in the water to know who is there. Oh, the whale shark was just here. Can we follow it? And you sniff the trail of the whale shark's DNA. How am I going to understand a shark if I'm thinking like an old world primate? We're totally different. It took me several years to look at the eyes, to look at the hardware, to measure the light, and to build the camera so we could get all these hints into how that shark might be seeing the world. It's like a detective story. What we know as humans about whales comes from just a few scientists so far, like Roger and Katie Payne. They had background in music, and by kind of mapping out the songs, noticing that if they would look at this almost like a song sheet, every 15 minutes or so, there would be a repeat. male humpbacks sing, but the function of their song is still mysterious. The general belief is that whale songs serve the same purposes that bird songs do, as ways for males to advertise for mates and to challenge rivals. But why they change their songs is still unknown. Taking that information from whales and passing that to us humans was one of the most transformative pieces of narrative to feed the Save the Whale movement and maybe save some whales from extinction. These animals are sharing this world that might have been millions of years going on in their world. And suddenly, for the first time, we as humans are tuning in. It's Ren. Leave a message at the beep. Is there actually a beep? Hey, Ren. Why's your phone off? You said this was a good time to call. Ignore that. Someone was messing with my whales today. I was just hoping I could vent to you a little. I hope your test went well. Hey, we had a whale at Palooza today. Anyway, give me a call when you can. The whales say hi back. Hey, Mirai. How are you? <sighs> Doing all right. How are you feeling? Any better? A bit. I might finally be getting my sea legs. Next step, diving. <laughs> One step at a time, Mirai. <laughs> okay, but I promise you, it'll change your life. Is Andre with you? No, just me. Andre is analyzing some sound files in the other lab. I think I may have upset him. You upset him? Or that noise upset him? Because it certainly upset me. He was overreacting, and I pointed it out. I was not overreacting. Andre, I didn't realize you were on. What did you find? This is video and audio from your last dive. And this is an analysis of the sound that spooked the family. 
And this sound is from a Canadian marine acoustic scientist. I think the findings are pretty clear. The signatures sound the same to me. He gave me the same text. Andre, who is messing with my whales? Deep sea miners. Here? In the research zone? It's off limits to commercial activity. And when has that ever mattered before? You don't know that they are in the research zone. They may be just outside it. We knew they were doing an impact study nearby. What are they after? That might give us a clue. They're looking for rare minerals to make solar panels. Could the sound cause trauma to the whales? The acoustic specialist said it might push them to quieter hunting grounds, but was unlikely to cause acoustic trauma. So what's the move? We should use our mapping drone to investigate their activity. And this is where our debate turns into an argument. We need that drone to map the deep sea vents before Mirai dives there. The biochemistry of these vents is the perfect cocktail for creating new life forms. If there is illegal activity there, we have to stop it. Otherwise, there will be no life forms. Why spend our short time here policing rather than researching? Let's be scientists. Mirai, your dive, your call. I'll dive in the vents without a map. Nobody messes with my whales. Hey, Mirai. Sorry I missed you. Misplaced yeah, my phone. Yeah, nobody messes with my Whale whales. Is that my a real whales. thing? Tell whomever annoyed you I'm coming for them. Hey, nobody messes with our whales. No, Is my whales. Is sonar? Maybe our we can whales. find the bad guys with that. Maybe that was the answer they were looking for on my test. I was hoping to chat live, too. You need to help me figure out a better plan for next semester. Miss you. Wait till you, wait till you see me. Alright, so let's go back down. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna go down deep. Let's go deep. Day five. Open ocean, east of the atoll. I'm ready to play back a coda sound to Andrea to see her response. I'm definitely worried that the family has gotten smaller. Not sure if they were just spooked by that sound or if something else is going on. Staying hopeful. Ready to dive. I'm in and okay. I always feel like I'm swimming in place in the open ocean. Helper. Approaching the buoy. Sounds familiar. Hey, a newcomer. Now to get there before the noise from Andre's minor friends scares them all away. You want to raise my blood pressure? not expecting to find orcas here. They don't look like killers. Top of the food chain, just like us. Minus the urge to destroy ourselves.
hello to you too. What up, buddy? Well, hello there, Hammerhead. How hard it is to control this. There we go. Oh, oh, almost. Stop moving. Stop moving. Has anyone been there tracking them? I'm still waiting to see if there's a match. Go check out this one. Yeah, they all match. Andre, are you seeing this? Yes. They're the, they're the black turtle. I didn't think there were any left here. What happened? They poach it, and the nesting beach has gone too. Biosample acquired. Do you think your turtles are making a comeback? Well, I wish I could be optimistic. It's just as likely our turtle is taking the long route home to somewhere else. That's cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, we'll be playing in a little bit. Okay, group survey. New or a repeat? Oh, I'm paying, I'm just trying to pay attention to the game a little bit too. My bad. That's a hump that way. So glad to hear you. Those noisy neighbors silenced enough of your friends. Not bad, bro. This thing is so hard to control. There we go. New whale! We'll designate this one M4. Because why mess with a good thing? The sounds don't sound like the prior sounds. These are more social sounds. Yo, it's cool. What? It wants me to go back? I want to go deep down. It won't let me go all the way down there. So, oh, I have to go to this thing. Okay. I wonder what that noise is, though. Feels like my birthday. It's a crazy, crazy noise. Present. Hope it's better than my last birthday. They're scaring off all the My sister got me jeans that were mine man. for 
about a week before they wandered off, never to be seen again. A mystery, <laughs> I tell you. Another orca. Did you not oh. charge any of these batteries before you put the sensor in? It's not the battery alarm, it's the drone. Why well, do I have to go to the orcas and stuff? Man, I already talked to all of them. Why well, is another little thingy out here? How come I couldn't go to that one instead? Why is this guy all the way out here? It's so dangerous. Hello. Oh. I just met your friends. Oh, it's a sunfish. Ooh. I remember seeing one of these in real life. Oh, wow. What? It's the same thing. What do you want to look at? Are you sure no one's tracking them? Nothing's turned up. Pretty low weight. Arena, do you think this one could be sick? I'm honored you believe Ooh. I could help from this. I would say, I mean, he's way out here. Of disease extends to all species. Fair enough. Like, super far out here in the ocean, like. Danger zone. Yeah, bro, we'll play, we'll play. Just, uh, like, I'm still doing this live stream video. I was just gonna make a video of this, but I thought it would be cool to live stream it instead. And this game just came out like uh Dolphins. Always showing off. Oh it's nine. Hey Andre, can you make your manta drone do synchronized swimming? Guess we'll see. Yeah, hold on bro. Let me uh Let me get, um, it's been an hour and ten minutes. Let me get at least an hour and thirty. And then I'll, uh, cut it. Think the explorer and drones will flag me as biodiverse? A bit later. You know what they're looking for. That's what everyone says. So give me, like, uh, twenty minutes. You're right. That is It'll be quick. Not a dead battery. If you take a, Unless we're using if you watch this stream, it'll be like, go quick. There's already a tag on it. Then scan the tag. Ooh, sure, like, that was obvious. Tag. Zoom scan to new tag. Oh, I'm leaving another tag. Much better than a dead battery. There's my hammerheads.
Let's log you in. All right, little dude, you are locked in. Let's go. Back to that noise maker, I think. Wow, these are big sunfish, though. That's a baby sunfish. Pilot fish. Oh, look what I found. A moon jellyfish. That's a bunch of big. Oh, these are like little uh, striper sharks. Oh, they're all pilot fish. Didn't you pick this dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here? Well, they said they were heading in this direction. Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm gonna love it. What is happening? It's a bait ball. Humpbacks? Orcas? It's very unusual, but everyone's gotta eat. Are you safe in here? I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. Wow, that's cool. Oh, almost dang, homie. Yo, don't eat me. Ooh, there's my dolphins. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Of course dolphins show up. Never like being left out of the action. They want leftovers. Good luck to them. Can you lower that, that a little bit? Stomachs. It sounds loud in me. You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. Oh, this is why I have to wrap up to the thing. What? I thought I did. I have to get his face. his tail Are 
Are there fewer than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? Oh, uh, definitely fewer. But maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? I've prepared a coder you can activate from your dive pouch. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her. <laughs> Echo clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. No idea. Go out there and ask. Uh, um, I guess ask. This is not out there. Yeah, I know. At least I won't get lit up in this one, DS. The fish like me. <laughs> I want to see some more video. Just tell me there's more video. If people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish like one another? When you see fish interact with other creatures, like the octopus and the grouper, who go fishing together, they communicate in ways that we don't know what they're saying, but they know what they're saying. They've been on the earth for hundreds of millions of years. They've had a long time to figure out these close relationships. Sharks actually might prey on dolphins in a natural setting, but when they are presented with a bait ball, then they work together for this common goal to feed on the fish. We had very large bait balls spread over probably half the size of a football field. We had mobula, we had dolphins, the bait was shifting everywhere, animals were coming in, moving out, just moving so quickly. 
So we have some orcas around the bowl and also under. So everybody works together as a team, herding the fish. Males, female, everybody is doing this and they will eventually share the stunned fish afterwards, which is pretty amazing to see there is no competition. So everybody is working together and everybody is sharing the prey afterwards. It really takes a long time of being in there, watching the same species of fish to figure out these really interesting things that they're doing. So I think that there's probably a lot of really interesting behaviours out there that we haven't even discovered yet. As a child, I had no idea how important the ocean is, that the great majority of life on Earth is in the sea, that the greatest <laughs> diversity of life is in the sea. My name is Sylvia Earle. I'm a scientist, an oceanographer, an ocean explorer. I've spent years at sea aboard ships and thousands of hours under the sea. I've seen things others have not. If others could see, what I've witnessed, they would know how much the ocean has changed, and they would know why caring for the ocean matters to everyone, everywhere. The ocean is Earth's life support system, generating most of the oxygen in the atmosphere, capturing much of the carbon dioxide produced by human actions. The ocean is the planet's living blue heart. Every creature has a story, every one, whether you're looking at a little crab, or a starfish, or a shark, if people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish, that they have communities, they have faces? Their importance as fellow citizens, as cultures, as amazing creatures that we can learn from. There's a lot of water we now know elsewhere in the solar system and elsewhere in space. But to have a, a liquid ocean with frozen polar areas it's taken four and a half billion years to shape the world in a way that is favorable to humankind. It's taken us about four and a half decades to significantly unravel systems. No ocean, no life. No ocean, no us. Bad news. The drone we had tracking that intrusive noise, it's gone. Lost contact hours ago. I'll keep monitoring the hydrophones for that noise, but as of now, unless the drone resurfaces, that's all we've got. Hey, Mirai. I assume you've heard that Andrea lost the drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? You'll have to ask Andre. He hasn't given me an update. I think he's upset that I suggested we still have the drone if we used it for its original purpose. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? Both. Yeah. Not... No, Jack. Mm. <laughs> Was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. But then the drone, I'm staying up to chat with my daughter. I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. It is. She's alive, but suffers from dementia. Mm, sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12, Nana was 4. I hear my sister crying. Let's see, definitely not. Most of the time, not sure. Most of the time. It's complex right now, but 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Where is your daughter? She's at university in the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She's even playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Oh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister uh, took a break for a few years. But she's back now. There's a story there. Nah, he's there. Not my business. He should be here. He's just on top. Nah, he's here. He just, uh, he just on top. She's had to deal with tough stuff. We what both you have. got going on? You got arms I just seem on. to have an easier time adjusting. Are you over 25? Have a clean yeah. driving record? No DUIs? You can drop your auto insurance rate to as low as $19 a month. I'll watch that How? Little, uh, it's super easy. All you need to do is go to Pretected.com. There you enter your zip code, put in some basic information, and get the cheapest rates. That's it. So you can go to Pretected.com and start saving on your car insurance today. Honestly, I think it just pushes her away. You sound like me talking about my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Complex. People are messy. That's why I study whales. Speaking of which, I... Better get prepped for our next dive. Catch you later. Get it. Go ahead. Better be ready for Splash Zoom, you already know. Oh, I missed it. No, no, no. What? How do you even play that game? Hey, level up. I mean, you just gotta use the analogs to... Play with you. Analogs is right there. Like, yeah. Is this like a fight? A fight game? Or is it just this? It's okay. I'm on the show, man at a high. Did she? No. I don't know. Kind Let's of. Just get through this right here. Did you want to? What are the best arms? No, that's you? crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. <laughs> Good. Your mama gonna knock you out. You wanna see a knockout right here? Watch. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am officially going to call this part one, one on one gameplay, and also part one, one on one, and then over there, 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 and then so get set up and ready to catch my last guy. With Blaze 3. Blaze 3. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yes, you know, it's 
starting the stream. So I'm gonna buy more. This is a uh, part one now. Alright, take it easy. Everybody, uh, <laughs> to the next stream about 